Imagine you're sitting in a presentation. It's actually pretty good. However, it's starting to stretch a little bit and you're wondering, where are we going next? And when is this going to end? In this video, you're going to pick up the key to wrapping up your high impact opening so that your audience can settle in and give you their full attention. In the previous videos about your high impact opening, you've heard about your opening words, your foundational phrase, and your big promise. This is the fourth and final part, and it is a critical piece if you want to keep your audience from getting distracted by those questions. How long, how much longer is this gonna be? When will this end? I call this fourth part, the blueprint. Just like the blueprint of a house, the blueprint in your speech or your high impact opening lets people know, Hey, this is how the speech is going to lay out. This is a short one or two sentences. It gives them an idea of where you're going. For example, in my keynotes about speaking, I tell the audience, we're going to visit three rooms in our speaking house today. The first room is structure. You'll discover why structure is important in grabbing your audience's attention and keeping their attention all the way to the end. In the second room, we'll dive into stories why stories are the most valuable tool that you have in your communication arsenal that will help you sell your product, service, or idea. Number three, the third room, is we'll talk about the importance of delivery, how to be your authentic, real self when you're giving a speech, no matter how large the audience. That's it. I've given them a layout of where we're heading. I've not gotten into the details, but now they know this is a three-part speech. We're going to talk about structure, stories, and delivery. This will enable them to stay fully focused. And if at any point they get distracted, they'll, they may say, well, where were we? Okay, great. We're talking about delivery. That means we're about to wrap up. These are the kinds of thoughts and questions that people have in their minds when they're sitting in front of us. So let's address those questions early, get them out of the way so they can stay fully focused. I use the analogy of rooms because I use this house analogy when talking about presentations. Find a metaphor, three steps, three keys, three stops along our road to fill in the blank of whatever your topic is. But try to use a metaphor, a tangible type of image that they can grasp onto. That is the fourth and final part of your high impact opening. Now your job is to go out and put these four pieces together and start testing. Notice how your audiences lean forward, how they're more eager to hear what you have to say because you've not only captured their attention with your first words, you've told them what they're going to get and you've also promised them how they're going to get there. In the next video, you'll hear all about how to transition from your high impact opening into your first point.